guys, this is one of the traveling Dutchie coming right at you from Costa Rica. And today I have excellent news because after two years, Costa Rica finally decided to lift most of its COVID restrictions. We'll get straight into it, but first, if you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for 17 years and with my channel, I'd like to help anybody that would like more information on Costa Rica travel, Costa Rica living, and of course, traveling and working online. So be sure to subscribe. I have over 150 videos on these subjects for you to watch and be sure to click that little bell icon so you actually receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Now let's get into the good news. So I was actually shocked to see that the president actually um, announced this news so quickly after the day before he announced that uh, restrictions might be lifted at some point um, before his uh, term would end. So I figured, oh, they'll let us know the last minute in April, but no, it was the next day. So what is the big news? Starting March 7th, they're gonna start with lifting the driving restrictions. You see in Costa Rica, since the pandemic, since the lockdown, we haven't been able to drive when we wanted to. There was like a limitation based on the, your license plate number. Not all cars could circulate at every day, at every hour of the time. And that is now being eliminated, which is excellent news for local businesses as well, because then, you know, they can actually tend to their customers at regular work hours and starting March 7th residents and locals no longer need to fill out the online health pass when they travel into Costa Rica but really the most exciting news starts April 1st so get this no longer do you need to fill out the online health pass and so that means that for the unvaccinated travelers you no longer need to get the mandatory travel insurance that needed to meet the requirements of the government. You do not need to have a, a negative COVID test. You do not need to do anything basically. <laughs> like they're completely returning back to the, to the old things, right? And obviously you need to check depending where you're from, if you need a visa or not. But other than that, you just need your passport and a return ticket. They always like to know that you're going to leave within 90 days. And that's it. I know a lot of unvaccinated travelers were extremely nervous because at one point the government wanted a vaccine mandate. So you needed to show like a QR code to enter many businesses or to you know participate in uh, social activities. They wanted to they actually I think it was last December that they announced this. Luckily, the court put a stop to it or they delayed it. And now the government dropped it altogether. So Costa Rica is not looking to get a vaccine mandate. So again, when you enter Costa Rica, whether you're vaccinated or not, all you need is your passport and prove that you're leaving within 90 days. Costa Rica is open for travel. No more... Um, capacity limitations for hotels and restaurants. They can just be fully open. The same goes basically for everything. It's almost like we're returning back to normal. The one thing that uh, will still take into place is the fact that you need to wear a mask in public places and then the hand washing. But I mean, I would say that's no big deal given how it was before where you had to jump through loops to travel in Costa Rica. So this is the excellent news. I do want to say though, and I just can't help it. I guess it's because I call on um, a travel company. So my advice is still, even though none of you need a mandatory travel insurance, still be safe, right? It's just a smart thing to do. It doesn't cost a lot of money. And you know, especially nowadays, you just don't know what happens and this is not necessarily COVID related, right? You can break your ankle in the jungle and a helicopter needs to come get you. That gets very expensive or you lose your expensive camera or whatever it is, get travel insurance. I actually recommend a company that I recommend that have been recommended to all my clients. 
I'll just leave the info of this company in the description box below. They offer excellent rates and excellent customer service in case you do need to make a claim. So be sure to check that out. Obviously, it's not like it doesn't obligate you to anything if you just fill out the quote. It just gives you the free quote, basically. So be safe, travel safe. I'm so excited about this news because basically at one point we were so sad when it looked like the Costa Rica government wanted to mandate the vaccine, which of course hurts the tourism industry. So this is in an effort to, you know, heal the tourism industry and for everybody that likes to travel to Costa Rica, they are more than welcome to. So again, the great news has been shared Spread it, spread it around and uh, if you have any questions of course I'm always happy to answer them just leave them in the comment section below if you have any ideas on subjects I should do a video about again leave it in the comment section below I'm always happy to help I have 17 years of experience so I'm pretty sure whatever question you you have I will be able to answer them. All right. For now, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida.